Hello and welcome to a new tutorial and a new free plugin. It's called XFX Edge Progress Bar. Bit of a mouthful I know, but it does something really simple. As you can see, it puts an edge around the outside of the frame. You've probably seen this on many social posts and wondered how it's done. Well, there's now a free plugin that we've made. And if you just want to download that, you can go to the website, link below, but we would appreciate a subscribe and a like. I am of course going to start in motion and what we're going to do, we're going to use a title. Why a title? Well, we want to put this on top of all the edits. We don't want to add it as an effect because you'd have to do a compound clip of your whole edit. So we just want to strip this across the whole of the timeline so you see the progress bar go across. Doesn't really matter what size is, but this one's going to be 16 by 9, so 1080 is fine. Uh, yep, 29.97 is fine, 100 frames, absolutely fine doesn't really matter as long as you've got the um, actual aspect ratio right. Now let me open that. Okay, and we start again. We've got the text that we always get rid of on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a clone of the background. I've done this many times. You've probably seen why, because I end up turning it off. So I'm going to put that into a new group as well, and then turn that off. Now that means I can close that that's the original, and work on this clone layer. If I ever need to go back to the group to make another clone layer, I've got it hiding in there. Now, there is a border filter, and there's even a stroke filter in motion, and you think, oh, well, I could put that on, and that'll be great, they'll go round and outside, but that's not gonna work for what we want, because we want to be able to animate the end point of where the line is, so it actually draws on. We're gonna have to be a bit craftier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my own line. Now, select the layer that the clone layer is in, and then we'll go to Bezier. And we're going to start top right, but I'm not going to put it right in the top right. And I'm just going to draw a shape and join it up. And we get a solid shape. That's lovely on there. Go to the inspector, and we're actually going to use the outline. So can I put the outline on and turn the fill off? which is okay. And then I'm gonna change the geometry and change these points. But first I just need to check that this is actually bang in the center, that is. And that's not, okay, all right. Because the math is gonna be easy, let's put that right in the center. And then change the geometry, go to the geometry. Now, if you've built plugins before, you'll know, you'll get to know all the maths of moving the points around. Everything comes from the center points, that's zero, zero. And this is 1920 across. So if we move anything right to the edge, it's 960. So point one was the top right hand one, just to check, I always give it a wobble, yes. So we're gonna go 960. And that puts puts that on the edge. Uh, Ten, oh, it's 1080, isn't it? So that's going to be 540. And we're going up. If you think, you know, go back to school and it's X, Y um, axes, then all the top right-hand quadrant is positive. So that's going to be 540. Yep. Bottom one is bottom right is there. Yep, that's right. So again, that's going to be 960 over. But then again, that's going to be minus 40, minus 540. Minus 40 won't give us a very big box. And then this is the third one. Yes, that's going to be going the other way. So that's minus 960 and also minus 540. And then the top one will be minus 960 and 540. If you're building this in a 4K project, bear in mind it doesn't have to be a 4K project because they are, um, it, uh, motion will just scale everything up and you won't get any quality loss. These numbers will be different, obviously. Okay, how are we gonna control this? Not a problem, we're going to style, and we'll have a look at the outline in the inspector. And you can see we've got first point offset and last point offset on there. But to make that a bit obvious, I'm gonna just shrink this down, and then go back and increase the width on there. Now you see it's growing outside, it's actually because the middle of the border is the actual edge frame on there so that's fine but I don't want any of these round edges I know they're outside but I'm going to have that all as square on there okay that's fine you can actually toggle this extra area off I think it's in the view menu isn't it um, show full view area there we go so this is the actual edge we had before and now we can see that's the actual edge of the 1920 by 1080 frame on there we'll publish the color Straight publish that, don't need to worry about rigging it. And the width, yep, yeah. let's publish the width. 
And then we've got first point offset and last point offset. Now, at the moment, we've got a full border and we don't want that. So the first point offset is fine because that's the top right. But the last point offset is going to be right back there to zero. And we're going to put a keyframe there. And then we're going to go to the end. This is 10 seconds long and put a keyframe there. And now we have an animating edge progress bar over time. I mean, how easy is that? That is really easy. It takes you about two minutes to make that on there. And I'm going to hit save and I'm going to go edge progress bar and we'll put that in. Uh, XFX free, which is down here somewhere. There you go, in all our lovely plugins. And I'm going to publish that. Now, time to go over to Final Cut Pro and have a look. Here we are in Final Cut Pro. I have some footage of a couple of people on a quad bike, and I want to show the elapsed time on there. So, as you can see, I've got XFX free, that's in the title browser. Uh, we've got Long Shadow, this is the last one we made, the last free plugin and edge progress bar and now that probably will have a nice little thumbnail by the time we actually post it but what i'm going to do is just drop it onto the timeline and there we go you can see that's animating automatically now it will be the same duration as the length of the motion project and that was 10 seconds so what i can do is if i go actually edge to edge and snap that to there and then pull that right back to there now this bar will go at the speed of the whole clips or the three clips and just to prove it i shall run it um, because i want to see this because it's the first time i've made it as well it looks like it's going to finish right on the end of the clip as well yep now that will do any duration if you want it to be an hour it'll be an hour and the edge will slowly go round, counting down that hour one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that colour to a nice red so you can see that. Now, by the time you see this and the plugin is available for download, there might be a few extra features in the parameters. So check those out. But there you go. Really easy to do. And that's XFX Edge Progress Bar free plugin. The link is in the description below. And we're going to make a few more of these, I think. So please subscribe. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Always helps the YouTube algorithm and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.